Hi, I've clicked onto the Tropical Tidbit for Tuesday evening, August 2nd, 2016. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service. Well, this is just a quick evening update on what is now Tropical Storm Earl here in the Western Caribbean. We talked yesterday about how as soon as this closed off a of circulation, it would earn a name, and it has done that today. Recon flight went in there earlier and found west winds on the south side, closed circulation on two passes, and uh, it is moving west here, and uh, we see that the pressure was falling um, between those two passes, which meant that it was strengthening while the plane was in there. We'll get more planes in there early tomorrow morning, um, but as it stands, the system is finally able to get better organized. Shear has let up as it has made it to that pseudo-magic 80 west line. It's not really a magic line, but in the Caribbean, that's normally the place where the trade winds finally slow down. So you can see them racing into the right of this line and much slower to the left of this line. And so now that Earl has made it here, the trade winds are now becoming a favorable factor instead of an unfavorable one for the system's development. So we see the low level center right here underneath this new burst of deep convection that is forming over the center. And although the system is still heavily weighted on the eastern side, this convection will be able to start spreading over a greater breadth of the circulation. And this uh, deep bomb of convection that we see as the sun goes down is a typical sign over a small center like this that some strengthening is occurring and will continue throughout the night. Now the system is making a west-southwest um, dive in its track like we talked about yesterday and the question now is how close does this get to the coast of Honduras this may become a pretty nasty night and into tomorrow morning for some areas along the coast here including Roatan Island later tomorrow and as the system gets close to the coast not only will it bring nasty conditions uh, to the coast but it could also inhibit some of its strengthening if it gets too close um, as it will be bringing dry air off of the higher terrain from the southwest. However, a lot of storms have a history of being able to intensify rapidly in this Gulf of Honduras, even if they are rather close to the Honduran coastline. And this is usually because the trade wind flow is so strong in here that whatever inflow comes off the mountains on the southern flank is fairly weak into the system. The primary inflow channel is always going to be from the east-southeast, which has this long fetch over the warm Caribbean Ocean here. And so Earl is going to be benefiting more from that and will likely not suffer too much from being near the Honduran coastline. And so strengthening is expected as it moves toward Belize um, throughout tonight and tomorrow. And right now the Hurricane Center forecast has this tracking right into Belize tomorrow. And we have tropical storm warnings and a hurricane watch all the way uh, up to near Cozumel here, not quite that far north, and then tropical storm warnings all the way along the Honduran coastline to the Nicaraguan border. And some brief uh, re-emergence over the southern bay of Campeche is possible uh, on Friday, but it seems that it will not have enough room most likely for significant restrengthening, but it may be something to watch for areas around Veracruz on the eastern coast of Mexico. Uh, the NHC discussion, discussion does not officially have this attaining hurricane status before landfall, but it does mention that it is possible, and indeed it is with this kind of a situation. You can see cirrus clouds coming out of the northern semicircle of the storm and then going out of the semi southern semicircle of the storm, indicating dual outflow channels here. And as uh, the shear finally lets up and this deep convection is firing, as soon as the system has an inner core structure, uh, it will be able to intensify perhaps with pace as it moves toward the Belize coastline. So it is quite possible that we will have a hurricane threat on the Yucatan coastline by tomorrow night, and this will have to be watched very closely. But regardless, this is going to bring tropical storm conditions throughout this area especially these islands um, just off the coast here are going to get nasty conditions and uh, whether or not this actually attains hurricane strength it's going to be close most likely and so this is going to be a serious threat for flooding and hurricane force winds in this area especially in the vicinity of Belize um, tomorrow night and into Thursday morning. So we'll keep a close eye on Earl as it continues to develop this evening. Uh, keep an eye on the National Hurricane Center updates for the latest and most current information. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.